What's good, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, but check it out, man. Uh, these tweets have came out, you know, uh, from Kodak Black. You know, as we all know, Kodak's been locked up, um, you know, saying he's getting abused in there. Um, he disappeared in the system for a little while. His mom was saying she's fearing for his life. Like, so a lot of wild stuff going on with Kodak, man. And you know, no disrespect. I mean this in 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 with no disrespect at all. But I I'm bet you know Kodak wishes he would have took a lot of people's um, advice and just slowed down and chilled out, man. You know what I mean? Kodak was getting money, touring. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. And you know, at the end of the day, is is all this stuff, this extracurricular stuff, really worth it? You know what I mean? But at the same time. Um, you know, still thoughts out to Kodak. You know, I hope he stay, stays strong. Like I said, I don't mean that with any ill intent. I just, you know, want to point that out that, you know, you always got to have them consequences on your mind. You know what I mean? And Kodak knew he had so many different run-ins with the law. And, you know, he did little business stuff before, but he kept at it. You know what I mean? He kept He kept putting himself in that position. But anyways, I mean, you see these tweets here. They say, Oftentimes we are scared to speak up in a world where when you when you write, they tell you to be quiet, a world which doesn't recognize the value of human life and human dignity, which robs a man of his will and make him an object to be exterminated. Besides the BS, life is great. I was just getting started. You more to say. Yeah, more to say, but I guess to mute me, they got me from round that ish, shaking my head. It is never the pain which hurts the most. It's the mental agony caused by the injustice and unreasonableness of it all. And, um, you know, that's a strong statement there. You know, anyone who's did a bid, who's been locked up, you know, you know, it's all about your mental state. Like, of course, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to stand, have to be able to stand on your own, too, as a man and, you know, um, you know, maybe fight and things like that. But at the end of everything, you know, that's that's, you know, the smaller side of things. It's that mental state. You know what I'm saying? Um, keeping your mind strong, um, occupying that time, being constructive, not dwelling on negative thoughts and negative things and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But um, here's some more tweets. I'm fine, or uh, I'm sorry, I'll, we'll start down here. I don't really see the purpose of keeping a dude locked in a bathroom like I got the cooties or something. LOL, help me understand. One day a man must decide for better or for worse what will be the monument of his existence, hashtag truly. And then he said, I'm finna get off this ish the way they handle in a real one is real sad nevertheless unforgettable but i can never hold my head down i'ma keep rolling like a damn fire drill hashtag glee so you know he's saying there they got him locked in a bathroom like i don't know man you know uh they get away with a lot behind the wall um you know the guards the system you know what i'm saying we seen what was going on in a parchment prison lots of crazy stuff over there um, you know, luckily there were some people inside that had cell phones that were getting videos and things out there. And we know Jay Z and Yo Gotti stepped up and uh, got involved with that. But um, I don't know, man. You know, uh, when I seen Kodak was talking about how he got in a fight with that one guard and everything, I was like, man, this is gonna be bad for Kodak. You know, like if you even raise up on on these guards, they're gonna make your life hell, or they're you know they're my, they may make your life hell just because, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a wild situation. And basically what I'm trying to say is you never want to give them any extra reason to mess with you. And, you know, uh, Kodak, he, he he talks, you know what I'm saying? He don't shut up is basically what he's saying here. But um, there's some more messages I'm going to read to y'all, um, uh, Instagram post. All right, so he also has this post here as well. Uh, Lieutenant F. Arroyo has been very vindictive towards me, and I have a strong feeling it has something to do with me being set up, laced, bruised, and brutally 
beaten two weeks before my court date. There was a big conspiracy going on in this building. Me, Santiago Torres, is using her position wrongfully um, in Miami FDC and is abusing her authority. She has been writing falsified incident reports on me to take phone privileges that I get once a week while in solitary. Also doing anything to take my gain time so that I come home so that I come home when I literally am supposed to. One morning she pulled me out of my cell to tell me she's going to take my pretty little girlfriend off my visitation list for no reason. Um, sorry, uh, for no reason, uh, but to add insult to my distress, not being able to see my significant other while locked away in this hell hole. Also, I was denied uh, visit with my mother on December 23rd, two days before Christmas. Not only does my incoming mail take an average of a month to get to me, but they are messing with my outgoing mail as well. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, this post uh, actually, I believe, is a little older. But um, yeah, man, you see what what's going on with Kodak, man. You know what I mean? Um, they're, they're, they're not treating the man too well. Um, I don't know exactly how he was able to speak out through these uh, tweets, you know, because um, the way that the way the tweets were put out seemed like it was Kodak himself. So I don't know if there is some guards that that do look out for him or what, you know what I mean? Because you can get a lot done behind bars when you got bread. But, um, you know, there's people that will uh, look out for you, guards and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? That's no secret. But um, Kodak has, the, you know, the guards on his ass. So. I just wanted to share this with you guys, man. Um, you know, Kodak still holding on, you know what I mean, saying he's going to remain strong. Um, hopefully, you know what I mean, his people can get uh, some, you know, uh, lawyer together and uh, get something going on this. You know what I'm saying? Civil rights violations and such. Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Comment, hit the bell. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.